Okay, hey guys, let's see now. Mr. Beast hit 50 million subscribers recently, so I surprised him. I'm just gonna edit the video in their program, and if you like what you see, Mr. Beast hit 50 million subscribers recently, oh. so I surprised him with a custom built 50 million play button. Now, I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but this is objectively the best play button ever created. We use gold, titanium, the oldest meter I've ever recorded. This was by far the most difficult and expensive project I've ever done, but it was worth it to see the reactions of Mr. Beast and his team. By the way, I'm editing this in Filmora 10. They helped make this video possible, but instead of reading off an ad, I'm just going to edit the video in their program, and if you like what you see, go check them out in the description below. It's free to try, and if you want to make videos, it's a great place to start artist and I really enjoy his videos so I thought I'd pay it forward and design him a custom 50 million subscriber play button just like the ones awarded to PewDiePie and T-Series in the past. Even though there's not much of a chance that Mr. Beast will see this. Hello there. It turns out there was a chance of Mr. Beast seeing it. Millions of viewers, every YouTuber in the world commenting their support, people sending their resumes in my email, over 10,000 comments, 4,000 notifications all over this single comment. So there's a couple problems with this. I think he might be joking. I don't build stuff ever. And I'm pretty sure this design is physically impossible to make. But those are just minor inconveniences. Mr. Beast asked for it and he was going to get it. I just didn't know how yet. I almost worked with a few different people, but as soon as we realized just how difficult this would be, everything fell through. I was all alone. Then I got a call from someone named Tristan who makes knives for a living and knows how to make Damascus steel. We decided to make the award together and do everything we could to deliver it to Mr. Beast in person. So I headed straight to Arizona with the sole purpose of making this design into reality. We decided to build the award in four separate pieces, the head, the tower, the ribbons, and the base. We used custom forged Damascus steel for the face except the eyeball, which is a fragment of the oldest meteorite ever found. It could be in a museum right now, or it could be in Mr. V's face. Now for the ribbons. Anyone who values their time and sanity can 3D print them, but unfortunately, I just booked a one-way flight because of a YouTube comment. Do I look like the type of... Okay, hear me out. Titanium bars. Heat them up. Bomb the shape into them. I have a major problem. Everything in between now and then was still very unclear. We didn't even have our aluminum blocks yet, so we started on the face. Damascus steel is made by stacking up different types of steel, forging them together, and etching it away in dangerous acid to reveal the specific pattern. Wait, what? We didn't have a forge press, so Tristan welded a flat piece onto a log splitter and used that to flatten the steel. What could possibly go wrong? As we were wrapping up the Damascus, the aluminum blocks finally arrived so we could get started on the main part of the award. We wanted to use CNC milling to cut the shape of the pieces we needed, but none of the CNC cuts were the camera and other prizes for their travel anywhere challenge if you want to enter. A lot of programs <coughs> are very difficult to learn and that is one thing that I appreciate about Filmora 10 is it is super streamlined and eases people into it. Green screens, effects, transitions, everything I just showed takes about two or three clicks. It's really not that complicated. What is complicated is CNC machining. But even Nothing that we did in this video was a good idea. Please don't try to replicate anything. Even though we slowed down the speed by like 10 times, the end of the level is 
equipment out of the front of the machine. We found afterward that the vise was not properly secured to the table, causing it to rattle loose. If you use a machine like this, always inspect the equipment and use proper safety gear so stuff like this doesn't happen to you. After about a week of CNC work, we gradually figured it out. We were mentally incapacitated. <laughs> But we had the major details cut into the metal, and that's what really matters. But to cut the outlines out, we had to use a water jet. Finding a company for this is even harder, but we finally got a hold of one and even got to demo the machine. Now, a water jet is a big mommy machine that needs actually experienced people to use it, so we couldn't just Red Bull our way through this one. The base was easy enough, we got that back pretty quick. But then we got to the top of the we ended up having to make two whole weeks of It's almost possible to convey the level of disappointment that we experienced after this. But just like before, we didn't quit. New plan, we'll order new aluminum, except it's pre-cut into the shape of the face. We'll cut the details onto it after the outline is there. And while the aluminum is shipping, we'll make a box for the award, kind of like the one PewDiePie got. The hardest part was actually picking what type of wood to use. <laughs> got to make sure the surface is looped. First you got to make sure the surface is lubricated. Next you got to get some sandpaper. Next you got to get a drill. After sanding Just two months ago, I was laughing at Funny Mario on this channel. How exactly did we come to this? We anodized all the titanium pieces this way. The results... But for the Damascus steel, it doesn't quite work that way. We did find a way using a blowtorch and hydrochloric acid, but it was really difficult. Then we had all the parts. We used a hydraulic jack to smash the pieces into the face so they'll never come out. Hey, that reminds me of something else you could use a hydraulic jack to smell. We just hit the subscribe button. For some final touches, we hand engraved a gold-plated YouTube logo on a box, made a nice interior with buffalo leather, steel rods, foam, engraved a plate So this was the original design, and then here it is. Holy crap! Oh my gosh, dude, that looks amazing. The main body is aluminum, and then the face—that's Damascus steel. 
And then inside the bolt and stuff, that's titanium Damascus. This is a vinyl sticker. All lacquered up and good to go. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh my gosh. Good grief, man. That is incredible. Now for the hard part, getting in touch with Mr. Beast. We outlined every point of contact we could think of. We had NASA working around the clock. Well, that's convenient. Now for the actual hard part, bringing in one foot across the entire country. We could ship it, but it's too heavy. We could carry it on a plane, but it's too big. We could buy an extra plane ticket so it could sit on the seat next to us on the flight, but that'd be kind of ridiculous. That's the last thing we wanted to do. <laughs> we had invested our souls into. And to think that it all would have never happened if Mr. Beast hadn't left that single comment on my video. You don't have to be an athlete to be active. This new year, stay hydrated with Gabriel Bittar. And you commented on that video saying, uh, now build it and send it to me. I did. <laughs> this is the real version of what was in that video. Wow. And so, so if I didn't leave that comment, would you have activated it? No. <laughs> 17 inches tall. Weighing over 100 pounds. This award, so not including the crate, the award is 100 pounds. Yeah. What? You know what's funny? Uh, YouTube isn't sending us a 50 mil award. They said they're not doing it anymore. So yeah. I know. I'm glad you guys stepped in. I, I don't want to be like the opposite of humble. I don't know what that word is. Be it. Brag. Let it out. I think this is going to be better than whatever YouTube would do. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. All right. Months of your life. Right. All this effort and time and money. Let's see what he created. Let's do this. Oh. Holy crap. Oh yeah, I feel like, let me move this out the way real quick. Can someone shine a light on it? I want to see Chris. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see when you shine light oh, on it. That. It reflects so nicely. Yeah, that's like the name. Oh snap. That's like the names of people we have to find that like, were part of your channel. Helping. See, that's even Chandler's dance in there. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so is Zach. Where do you recommend? Oh wow, Good this thing luck. is thick. Alright, you're going to set it. Okay. Yeah, grab it on the bottom with one hand. Yes, sir. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. together because I did not
Seeking is going to help me surprise my dad with a brand new BMW M2. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.
So let's just start with the first one, the sleep sounds. Any kind of video that uses relaxing music or any other type of music with a stock footage cannot be monetized, even when the music is copyright free. This type of content can no longer be monetized on YouTube. I'm mentioning this first by choice because channels focusing on sleep sounds or similar content are is still a trend and many people encourage others to start such channels but we don't do that this kind of channel can no longer be monetized on youtube you know channels like sleep sounds ocean babes meditation asmrs white noise forest sounds or any similar videos okay next up we have completions completions cannot be monetized on youtube this includes anything from tiktok completions to movie scenes sport highlights youtubers highlights celebrities highlights or any kind of completion where you are not the original creator of the material well this makes sense because the content is not yours and when you put together a lot of content that is not yours to create a new video the video is not considered yours either as a result you cannot make money with it and that's the only explanation it needs next we have motivational videos by motivational videos i'm referring to all videos that somebody else is talking if you have seen any motivational videos on youtube you understand what i mean motivational videos typically involve someone like jordan peterson speaking either in the original video or combined with the stock footage but unfortunately this kind of content cannot be monetized on youtube because once again the person speaking is not you and you do not have the permission